William Sila is our sign language interpreter for tonight. William, thank you. Now. President Uhuru Kenyatta has issued a three-week ultimatum for the Lands Ministry to issue title deeds to over 6,000 households still living in colonial villages in Nyeri. The president gave the directive as he presided over the 54th Madaraka Day celebration held in Nyeri. But as our political affairs reporter Mrimi Mwangi now tells us from Nyeri, the exclusion of opposition leader Raila Odinga from the Madaraka Day list of speakers has caused an online storm. On his last public holiday before the August general election, President Uhuru Kenyatta had good news for some 6,000 near his quarters. The issue your colonial villages, Karibu 150, Najua kazi imeendelea lakini haijakwisha waziri wa ardhi. Mimi nimekupatia wiki tatu umalize kazi hiyo na uhakikishe ya kwamba hizo titles wananchi wamepewa. And with only 67 days to the August 8th polls, President Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto pleaded for re-election, accusing the Kenyan opposition of blindly criticizing Jubilee development projects, including the recently launched Standard Gauge Railway, for cheap publicity. Over 50 years after independence, a majority of us lived in darkness because of lack of planning and the arrogant perception that stima asio ya watu ambao wanaishi kwa nyumba za nyasi. My government understands that every corner of Kenya matters. Entirety of purpose, from the colleges to electricity, to the railway, to the roads, is for the single purpose for us to industrialize our country. China. But it is the absence of National Super Alliance presidential candidate Raila Odinga from the list of speakers at the Madaraka Day Fit in Nyeri that has now ignited an online storm with opposition supporters bashing Kenyatta and Ruto for deliberately failing to acknowledge Raila's attendance of the event. We've been family friends for a long time. In previous state functions, President Kenyatta has even breached protocol and allowed Odinga to speak after his deputy. baba at least kiasi in the recent past, Odinga has threatened to boycott the August elections, citing a court dispute over the finality of presidential results announced at the constituency telling centre. Sirikali ya Kenya ni sirikali ya wale walikupigia kura na hata wale ambao hawakukupigia kura. So mtu asiwezi kuona ya kwamba kwa sababu yule ambaye nilitaka hakuchaguliwa nilete vita. La. With the opposition threats to boycott the August elections dominating the political space, the president's sentiments here